tops and buttons in my car. It's not your car, John. guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video it's an exciting one because we're going to ibiza in saturday sunday monday tuesday are you vlogging ibiza no five days i'm not vlogging ibiza because we're going with four couples and i mean we're probably just going to be drunk the whole time so it's not going to be very good vlog content but we're going to ibiza in five days it's currently friday we're going on wednesday you want to stay in this lane because you're going to go the back way. Um, and the prep is starting. I thought I'd do a little prep, pack with me video. That sun is glorious. We're starting off today with going to get my nails done. This is my biab from before we moved, which has been like a month. And it's held up so well. It hasn't chipped. These are my natural nails. Look how long they are. They're so strong. So I'm so happy with them. Um, so I'm going to get my nails done today for Ibiza. I am not going to get French and I'm not going to get nude. I don't know what I'm going to get. It's probably going to just be a block colour, but we are branching out. I also need to go and get my toenails done today and a pedicure because yesterday I stubbed my toe and chipped my toenail in half. So that is not cute. We need to get that sorted. We've got brows and lashes. I'm actually getting lip blush on Saturday, which I'm really excited about, which I'm going to show you all. Um, but yeah, I'm just dropping Jordan off at the train station. I'm going to go and get a Costa. And then it's the first appointment of this holiday glow. Dean, you want me to get your Costa? Where? Just run it out to the car. Okay, guys. Nails and toenails are both done. I just had the nicest pedicure and the nicest morning getting my nails done with Lucy. Lucy, who I'm now going to for my nails because obviously I had to find new people lucy who is now going to be doing my nails is actually my friend since god me and lucy have been friends since we were about 13 i want to say i think it was 13 when we met um so it was so nice to have a catch up and you are going to be so proud of me who is this girl look how dark my hands are compared to my face that's because this tan's natural i've been sat in the garden but i always have a hat and spf 50 so my face looks really pale but look at my nails how gorgeous are they very ibiza very summer and i got the same on my toes because when i went to the salon for my toes i just showed it and we matched it so i'm feeling very fresh very new um i've just popped to starbucks got myself one of the pink drinks these are so good this is pink coconut refresher and i get sugar-free vanilla in it mm. delicious more and then a chicken caesar wrap because i'm starving i've had nothing to eat today yet and it is what time is it hello it's half one i've had nothing to eat or drink well no that's a lie i've had a coffee um but yeah gonna head home now enjoy the afternoon in the garden and then i'll probably see you on saturday which is tomorrow for the next stage of Ibiza prep. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I am off to get my brows and lashes done. I didn't get a lip blush, although I have got a cold sore, which isn't a vibe right now. Like, that's not what I need before holiday, so I need to go and get some cold sore cream. Um, I didn't end up getting lip blush because the lady who was supposed to do it wasn't very well so she's had to reschedule and I didn't want to risk getting it done today or tomorrow in case like it scabs because I think with lip blush it does like have to like settle and scab and I didn't want to risk that with me going to Ibiza on Wednesday but that's okay we can wait I can get it done when I get back brows and lashes today I didn't get my brows done that long ago so they're actually looking okay I'm just going to get them tinted um, so that it's more like stained and they just look darker so I don't have to fill them in but the Lamy is still going strong and I'm going to get LVL which I haven't had for a while um, so I'm really excited because I love that for holiday but I've got to set off now and drive the nice weather's gone it's really cloudy but quite humid it's meant to be 40 degrees in Ibiza right now Rachel's actually out there um, and she's there like a couple of days when we're there and she just texted me and was like it's 40 degrees and it's 11am and it's so hot so that's great also need to pop two boots to get like last minute little like toiletry bits i've had a big amazon parcel come so i've got some good little holiday minis from there which i'll show you and i'm going for lunch with my granddad as well 
but yeah first stop is brows and lashes hello guys it is now the next day i've had my brows and lashes done they're feeling very fresh there's nothing better than that fresh brow and lash feeling like i've just got a little bit of concealer on today and it just feels so fresh um, I've just had an Amazon package, and if I'm thinking correctly, I think this is some more sunglasses. For Ibiza, it's now Tuesday. We fly in the morning at 7am, so we're going to stay our friends tonight, so that we're already, like, more through Newcastle, because they live closer to the airport. So, it's currently 12 o'clock, and we're going to theirs at about 7 so i really have a lot to do i haven't really packed at all yet i've tried on some outfits yesterday and that's about it these are some more sunnies that i got again it's given dad cycle vibes they're cool honestly i just, <laughs> i just love that sunglasses like this have came in fashion because I mean, I know some people hate them, but I just think they actually look so cool. Like, these are literally someone's dad's cycle glasses, and I'm wearing them to Ibiza. But I'm here for it. So, I've just been to... So, I've been for breakfast this morning with my cousins, and then I went to Superdrug and spent a small fortune, to be completely honest. I had to get so much stuff, so I thought I'd do a little haul... Um, and show you just bits that I've picked up from Superdrug. Do you want to know, Wilma? Let me just let the babies out. Okay, first things first, I got a few minis. Um, so I got a mini mouthwash, a mini toothpaste, and a mini Nivea, just like a face moisturiser. I then got some hand sanitizer. Uh, this is strawberry lace scent. Should we have a little smell? Let smell. Mm. Oh my god, that smells really alcoholic, but also kind of nice. Okay, great. We need to keep clean, ladies and gentlemen. Mini hairspray. A new deodorant. This is the best deodorant. It doesn't leave white marks. And Mitchum's is honestly the best. I really, really recommend it. It feels very natural on the armpits. Then got just some cheap razors. I know people are like cringed out by these type of razors. But I think they work really, really well. Like just to really get every hair gone, if you know what I mean, ladies. They're good, okay? And I like to like take one on holiday because, God, I have to shave pro probably like every single day on holiday. So that's great. Love that for me. You should probably get laser hair removal. I'm actually going to look into it. But it's just the fact you can't fake tan and you can't have sun exposure. So like in the summer when I love, I'm literally a sun worshiper. I love sunbathing. That's a bit of a struggle for me. Um, And then in the winter I wear fake tan. So when you're meant to do that, I don't know. Um, I've then got a body wash. This is for dry skin, deeply nourishing. I just thought on holiday hydration is key um i've got some aloe vera handy cleansing wipes i just like to take these in my hand luggage in my flight bag just in case you need a wipe like you never know when you're gonna need a wipe do you know what i mean this little headband kind of to do my makeup kind of if it looks cute like wearing my hair again that like vintage vibe and this is just literally a super drug own brand stretchy thing i then got this jumbo nick eye pencil in black i was on tiktok and i saw a girl doing makeup and she used this in a waterline and it just looked really good and i thought actually i need to get that because my black eyeliner is nearly run out then in terms of like medication because like i'm not being funny the hangovers are sometimes very severe right and i want to be a prepared queen in ibiza so we've got let me let the dogs in good babies little babas first things first we've got some cold sore cream because i've got a cold sore and it's absolutely killing me it's typical that that's just happened before holiday i really can't be bothered so i got that to try and just eliminate it within the next 24 hours also got these compied cold sore stickers so i've seen people talk about these and you put it on and it stops you obviously like touching it and i think it's got stuff in it to help it heal so i'm actually going to put one of these on now so if for the rest of the video when i'm packing it looks like i've got something on my lip let's just ignore it okay 
You guys trying to get rid of a cold sore before I go to Ibiza in approximately 24 hours. Actually, I'll be there in 24 hours, so we really need to move fast. I then got some ulcer gel because I sometimes get ulcers if I'm drinking a lot. Um, and like with travelling, I think like when you're just like quite run down and you're here, there and everywhere, I am prone to an ulcer, so is Jordan. So I got them. Got some vitamin C, um, like Barocca stuff to help the hangover. Got some paracetamol, got some ibuprofen. Got some Compede because blisters ruin lives. These ones are so good. And then I just got some um, Superdrug own brand ones as well, just in case. And then I got some normal waterproof plasters. So I think I'm a pretty prepared chick, if you ask me. The lady also gave me this, and apparently if you lift it, it smells really nice. Oh, wow. Ariana Grande, God is woman. God is a woman. Sorry. God is a woman. Her new fragrance. That smells so nice, guys. I always hear people saying that... Um, her cloud perfume smells like Baccarat Rouge. Hmm, delicious. Thanks, Ariana. Um, so yeah, that's my little super drug haul. I'm gonna make myself a coffee, put my, my cold sore thing on, and then it's time to start packing. So I'm gonna set you up, show you some of my Ibiza outfits, show you how I'm gonna pack. Wilma Dot, what's that out there? Wilma darling, why are you crying? And are you okay? Come here. A good boy today. You're being a good boy. You're all wet because you've been out in the garden, haven't you? Mummy's going to miss you. She is. Right, guys. See you in a minute. We're going to get this packing done. Okay. Coffee at the ready. By the way, I really recommend these cold sort stickers if you're a sufferer like me. I can't feel it all anymore. You know, usually it, like, stings. Amazing. So this is our suitcase. I got this new from Amazon. Um, all of ours kept breaking all the time and it was doing my head in. So I was like, right let's just get a new one um it was it was less than 100 quid i think it was about 70 quid or maybe it was i think about 80 quid i think 80 90 um but the reviews were really good for it you could get loads of different colors you could get loads of different sizes um i just went for the large one and it's a really good size it's really big me and jordan are sharing this um i'm quite a sensible packer believe it or not everyone like i actually don't overpack. i take just what i need um, I get like overwhelmed if I've got too much stuff on holiday. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how we get on with this case. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so I did chuck loads of stuff in here yesterday, but I need to take it all out and like organize it properly because I just like threw it all in. So I think I'll show you some of my outfits. Um, and then you can see what I'm gonna be wearing and we can pack it all together. So if you've watched my What's New in My Wardrobe video, you would have saw my Ocean Beach outfit, which is, this nice like brown swimsuit from Nina Swim and I'm gonna wear it with either this brown sarong which is stunning or the orange sarong which I also showed in that video and the orange little bag so I'm trying to like keep things in piles of what I'm wearing if that makes sense I've then got this green bikini from PLT which is the same as my like zebra print one that I wore in Santorini but it's like this green material um really really nice love her I'm wearing that with a green sarong a real green moment which is from boohoo and this white with green writing hat from glamify that is a daytime outfit. I'm then going to take my Levi shorts, which are from Amazon. These are just like a classic, easy to throw on short, which I like to wear. I've then got my pyjamas from Boo Avenue, which are just like little cute white lacy pyjamas. Really nice to get ready in, comfortable. Also, the top's really cute. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I've then got, these are a love-hate situation. I am a lover. Let me know your thoughts if you love or hate. These are from Ego. They're obviously like Yeezy dupes. I wasn't about to spend like, when I was looking online, because I was going to buy some. And they're like £300, because obviously it's all resale. 
and I was like, they're a very fashion trend piece to be spending £300. Like, if I'm buying something designer, I want it to be like, I'm going to have it in my wardrobe for life, I'm going to hand it down to my future daughter type of situation. Do I think that these would be in my wardrobe forever? No. However, they're quite on trend, more of a fashion thing. So I just got the ones from Ego, and honestly, they look great. They're so comfortable, and I feel like I'll actually wear these, like, on the night time for, like, parties and stuff. Um... But yeah, I absolutely love them. And then the other shoes I'm taking are just my classic heels because these are so comfortable. The only day I think I'll wear heels is probably Ocean Beach on the first day. Um, so I might actually put them in my hand luggage because we're literally landing, getting ready and going straight to Ocean Beach. Love that for us, getting ready literally God knows where. Um, and then I'm taking my Balenciaga trainers and I might take my New Balance. I don't know. I don't know if I want to ruin them. I also don't want to ruin my Balenciagas, but they're like a dark colour. I don't know yet. Um, I'm taking a classic white shirt, but I actually might wear that to fly so you can stay out. I've got my Jacquemus hat, which if you didn't see the what's new in my wardrobe, I've got this gorgeous little Delilah, which is coming with me can't wait to wear her I've then got my Amazon sparkly bag coming with me which I'm wearing with a sparkly top and this skirt I'll insert a picture on screen because I tried it on yesterday and put it on my story and it looked cute if I do say so myself I absolutely love that outfit and I think I'm gonna wear this for the first night maybe yeah, I think probably the first night. Another little handbag which I'm taking, which has a cross body strap. I've got my... Where's my sunnies? So I've obviously got my new cycling sunnies, which I've just shown you. I've then got these sunnies, which again, I showed you recently in a video, which are from Amazon. Again, that vintage retro vibe. I've also got these silver ones which i'm wearing with a silver bikini this is from shein and a white sarong do you see the vision here very cute love that um trying to think what else to show you that's like of interest oh i've got this little cute cord which to be honest it's a little bit too small for me but at this point like i've run out of things to wear so it's just gonna have to work from this brand you might have seen on Instagram I've got little cute like bra bikini top with the matching little like sarong skirt so she's cute I've then got these shorts from Urban Outfitters do you get the vibes I feel like I'm going like Ibiza vibes you know that's what I'm trying to achieve anyway um, and then the rest is just like random bikinis. Oh, this is quite cute. This is from Igor. Little cute skirt with a matching top. If you want to see the outfits on, head over to my Instagram. They'll all be there. Um, but yeah, that's like the bulk of like my clothes. Obviously, like I've got like bikinis in there for just like through the day um, and a few other bits. We're going Wednesday or Sunday. So I've tried to just plan outfits for every day and only take that rather than just taking a load of random stuff. Um, but yeah, let me pop you on a time lapse and let's start organising and packing this case. also got this hat how gorgeous is that this is from ego i think it looks so expensive and it really wasn't i think it was like a tenner so she's coming with me pretty much all the clothes are in i think we've got a good organize 
foundational system going on. I'm going to sort my jewellery out. This is my little gorgeous jewellery box, which I've had for years. I don't actually know where it's from. I've just had it years and I love it. Um, I always keep little like dust bags from things because it's really good for when you're travelling to put stuff in. So, jewellery wise, I want my Abbott Lion watch, which I wear all the time. I feel like I want to go for quite a lot of jewellery this trip. Because, why not? So, let's do these earrings, which I always, always take on holiday with me. Um, I actually got them, like, I think I got them when I was abroad, like, at a little, like, shop. So, I can't link them and I always get loads of questions. But, like, jewellery abroad from, like, little cute shops is so nice. Like, look how gorgeous they are. So, oh my god, they actually might be quite nice for Ocean Beach. With the orange. Oh my goodness gracious me. Right. You're coming home with me. Then, so I've currently got on my Abbott Lion necklace. I feel like just putting loads on, to be honest. And this is what I'm going to take. So I'm going to take these three necklaces plus my Dion that I wear all the time. Bracelet wise, I'm going to take all of these. Um, all, literally all of these are Abbott Lion, apart from this one, which was a bridesmaid gift from Rachel. And it's from Swarovski. Is that how you say it? I think so. Um, obviously the watch. And I think that's probably all I'll take. Obviously the orange earrings that I just showed you but I'll probably just take all of these and I always put my jewellery in my hand luggage just so I know where it is it doesn't get lost and I always just like like to put valuables with me at all times oh my god guys I forgot to show you this I found this on Amazon obviously it's not real Vivian Westwood um but I'll leave it linked down below on my Amazon storefront because how stunning is that and I thought for Ibiza, it's such a statement piece of jewellery. And I wouldn't wear something like this, like, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, like, to spend the money on a designer necklace like this would be ridiculous for me. Because I just wear, like, basic jewellery. Um, but I thought, like, to spice up my life. And the fact that that was on Amazon, so good. I'll leave a link down below if you want to pick it up. Okay, so I'm just sorting out toiletries. So I'm taking this after sun, which is the best after sun ever. It smells just like the perfect holiday smell. So that's coming with me. I've also got some dry shampoo. I really like this one. I've been using this brand quite a lot recently and it's really nice. I'm taking one of those. I've then got some scalp spray. My scalp burns so much. I wear my hair in a sleek bun and a middle part in a lot of the time. So... A burnt scalp is not ideal so I always spray this in my hair then got the revolution rapid tan accelerator SPF 20 this is really nice it smells lush I was using it in the garden when I've been sunbathing this week I've got a mini wren there isn't a lot in there but that should be enough for the amount of time I'm there you all know how much I love this daily tonic it's the best thing ever so that's coming I've got an eye cream here which I've been loving recently. I've got this um, Tiger Grass Calming Gel. It like almost feels like aloe vera. Um, just like I thought if anyone gets sunburn, you know, it soothes dry and sensitive skin. It's just a good thing to have. Medical Queen. This is the best satin spray in the world. I've used Urban Decay Satin Spray since I was literally, I remember using it for prom and I've used it ever since. And I've told you this story before, but let me tell you, it works. I had a whole bottle of Prosecco basically over my face. Um, don't even ask, just being a silly girl. And my makeup looked flawless after. And all the girls were like, Dion, why is your makeup still on perfectly fine? You just had Prosecco all over your face. And it's this stuff. It works a treat. Then I've got a new perfume, which I've been loving, which is this Oud one. So I thought I'd take that, although that is a really heavy bottle. So maybe I should rethink that. Um, and then this little mini one, just to put in your handbag. It's just a Marc Jacobs one. I have got my Grow Gorgeous mini, so the shampoo. I need to get my conditioner out of my bag. And a little mini scalp mask, because you all know I wear this around the pool just to protect my hair. Then I've got a little mini, oh, little mini facial cleanser. Little mini Paula's Choice. Um... 
that's what it is um i've then got my rapid brow like everyday brow and lash conditioner i just like to use this when i'm wearing no makeup and then my trusty u-tan coconut tan and water this is what i use on my face because my body tans really easily and really quickly sorry about that someone rang me um but yeah my body tans really easily but i wear spf 50 on my face so my face always looks lighter this is the best face tan in the world i literally swear by it i've used it for such a long time and i always gravitate back to it so i'm taking that and now i need to organize all this into aesthetically pleasing bags okay good progress has been made Medical bag, makeup bag, random toiletries, also random toiletries. Not gonna lie, it's feeling a bit heavy, so now, I don't know. I don't know if I need to take some stuff out. Friend of mine, Jordan hasn't put his stuff in. Hmm, I just simply don't know. This is my flight bag, which is actually quite big, so I'm gonna see what I can fit in here. Um, I've just got my little Louis Vuitton like pouch thing which I put our passports in um I've got my Gucci sunglasses in here and my airpods and obviously my toiletries will go in there as in these ones so I'm gonna see what else I can fit in here I think I'll probably put my curlers in so I'm not gonna take my Dyson just gonna take the curlers um yeah okay so I think I'm pretty much packed I might get told off and told I have to take some stuff out because I do think it's a bit heavy but I think I'm pretty much there. These are going to have to go on Jordan's side because actually they could fit, they definitely could fit on my side. There's absolutely zero need for me to put them on Jordan's side. Let's just stop being silly. There we go. ready and then it's like pamper time we're going to stay at our friends tonight i think i told you that because they live close to the airport closer than us um so i'm gonna have like my pamper here get all ready and then go over there's probably just like in a tracksuit or even pajamas because we're just gonna have a chill night um and then we're flying in the morning let me show you my flight outfit and then we'll wrap up this vlog Okay, flight outfit I'm keeping pretty casual. I've got this bodysuit which is like Skims from Amazon. It's so nice on, so comfortable. With some white jogger shorts. These are from a brand called... Hmm. It's called like Sha, like S-H-A-H, like that. That is the logo and these were actually joggers um and i cut them into shorts and yeah i just love them you know when something just fits really nice i wear them all the time white oversized shirt and then my balenciagas and this flight bag just keeping it nice and comfortable got an early morning flight as soon as we get off we're going to be getting ready to go out so i just wanted to wear something chill okay guys i am gonna whiten my teeth i use the high smile little device it like lights up um and then i get these pods you can get these um all over actually i'm sure they sell them in super drug now as well this is a new box oh no it's not where's my new box then hmm I've got four in here anyway um so you literally get this little ah, like pod um which has the stuff in you put it in there put it in your mouth and it whitens your teeth so I'm going to do that later, but I thought I'd show you that, um, because I always do that before holiday. Um, but yeah, we're all sorted, so I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I will leave everything linked down below that I've showed you. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.